Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, class. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Miss. Okay, how are you today? Fine, Miss. How about you, Miss? I'm good, so thank you. Uh, okay, uh, before we start our class today, let me pray together. Uh, pray, start. Okay, finish. Uh, so who absent today? Is there anybody absent? If there is no anybody absent, we will start our class today. And our lesson today is about context clues. The purpose of this uh, lesson, I want you then to know how to uh, know the, the meaning of the vocabulary without uh, see to the dictionary. So the strategy, this context clue will help you to find the meaning of the vocabulary without using dictionary. And um, before we start uh, the lesson, I have a video. So I want you to pay attention and then we will discuss it in the lesson then. text clues that we can find in readings or in the text. Uh, 
that you will also find it in your any uh, sources related to your uh, field in your uh, in the biology. Uh, so there are many uh, sources that use English. Uh, so the first one is uh, uh, Rani. I want you to read the first the the first type of uh, context book. Uh, it seems uh, Rani has a, a bad signal, so I will read the first one. Uh, the the first uh, type is definition or description clue. And the new term might be formally defined or sufficient explanation might be given with the sentence or in the form sentence. Clues to definition include that is commas and the set and also parentheses so we can see the clues that we can see to find the meaning of the word is the six commas the six and parentheses for example we can see here his imagination that is his skeleton like a parent was threatening to see so we can see this is uh that is as the clue so uh, skeleton like parents is the is the definition of a message um, and the second uh, example is fluoroscopy explanation with a fluoroscope has become a common practice uh, we can see the clues is the commas before and after the examination and point out to the definition of fluoroscopy and the second type is example clues. Uh, sometimes when a reader finds a new word an example might be found nearby that helps to explain its meaning words like including such as and for example and also point out example clues. for example we can see discussorial creatures such as wonder salmon and trout live in the coldest part of the ocean uh, the piscatorial obviously refers to fish so we can see this is salmon and we know that salmon is kind of fish and then the second example is celestial bodies including the sun moon and stars have fascinated men through the centuries celestial objects are those in the sky or heaven so we can see the sun moon and star we can uh, say that this is the things in the sky or in the event. And the third uh, type of uh, context code is the synonym. We all, we all already know that synonym is a word that uh, has some meaning. Uh, for example, we have here folded with what like the focus uh, of our attention. The new Miss America began her young, her, her year long run he was the sign signature of our eyes for the rest of the evening so the signature the underlying word means the focus of our attention you can see here this is the clues of the word and then the second example is the mountain part was a total world winding and twisting like a snake around the trees of the mountain side and the torturous, the underlying word means winding and twisting. And how about the contrast or antonym or word that uh, have a different meaning? It can uh, close uh, the close. It can be adult, however, and but. For example, we have here when the light brightens, the the pupils of the eyes contract however when it grow darker they they dilate the dilate means the opposite of contract and the second example as the children were as different as the night he was lively conversation rich but he was received a taciturn taciturn means the opposite of lively conversation rich and then we come to the fifth uh, types of uh, context clues. 
the author sets a mood and the meaning of the unknown word must be harmonized with the mood. For example, we can see the lugubrious wild of the gypsies matches the dreary whistling of the wine in the Albut deserted cemetery. And lugubrious, which means sorrowful, fits into the mood set by the word wild, dreary, and also deserted cemetery. And the sixth is experiential. Sometimes a reader knows from experience how people or things act in a given situation if knowledge provides the clue of what meaning. You can see the sample during the first bewildering week, the talk of a college freshman drifts back to high school where he was in, knew everyone and for, fell at home, a feeling of nostalgia swept over him. And the second is she walked away from her closet and quickly slipped a jersey over her head. She smoothed it into place over her hips, added a belt, glanced at the mirror, and left for work. And the seven uh, type of, of uh, context clues is analysis or structure clue. This part, the part used to construct a word can be direct clues to meaning. Knowledge of prefix, roots, and suffixes can aid a reader in using this type of context clues. Learning one word but can add dozens of words to a reader's vocabulary. The power of words part lies in the ability to combine the roots and affixes with the context in which a word is used to decipher the author's meaning. For example, the story is incredible. The root squared is meant to believe. And the prefix in means not. Therefore, if a story is incredible, it, it means unbelievable. So you have to know the prefix, root, and suffixes uh, for every word. So it will make it easier to you to understand the text that you read. And then inference clue. Sufficient clues might be available for the careful reader to make an educated guess at the meaning. For example, she told her friend until we blind that forever, what a dull evening. I was bored every minute, the conversation was absolutely faded. And faded means uninteresting. And then, uh, cause and effect clues. The authors explain the reason for, other, for the result of the word, like because, since, therefore, thus, so, etc. And my signal context clues. For example, she wanted to impress all her dinner guests with the food she served, so she carefully studied the necessary culinary art. Culinary means Food preparation, and I know that you all already know what is culinary. And then the comparison, and in comparison course, the authors use words and phrases that have the same or similar meaning as an unfamiliar word. Word use as like as similar to in the same way, likewise resembling to, and also this is the clue that you can see uh, to guide you or to get used to the context clues. For example, my brother is enthralled by birds similar to the way that I am fascinated by insects. So you can see, this is uh, the, the context clues is, uh, is that, that can get you is the similar. And the sense of the old shoes was like the smell of the bag. And the uh, word use is like. And then we come to the last. There are so many types of context clues. Uh, the last is the list of series. The unfamiliar word is included in a series of related words that give an idea of the word's meaning. Kind of word looks for a list of words. For example, North American predator includes grizzly bears, pumas, wolves, and foxes. And the second is the debris in the stadium stand included numerous paper cups, to cap stop, sandwich wrappings, and cigarette parts. And um, and uh, that's the type of the context course. There are so many uh, types. Uh, it, 
11 types. Uh, is there any question related to the uh, expansion that I have explained before? You can uh, un unmute yourself or raise your hand. Okay, if there is no... No, miss. So far, so good, miss. Okay, uh, thank you, Rani. Uh, if there is no question, we come to the practice. Okay, I have explained before. I hope you can uh, answer this practice one. So I have five uh, questions. I will give you a time around uh, or more than five minutes or uh, 10 minutes to answer this question. And then we will discuss it together. Okay. Um, so, is there anyone can answer the first question? Miss, can I miss? Yes, Rani, you can read the question first. Okay, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Uh, so, the question. The archaeologist carefully removed the tongue from its ancient resting place and proceeded to read the facts related to Mary in ancient Greece. What does word tongue probably mean? Uh, I think the answer is Simis, book. Okay, great. Uh, the answer is book because you can see this is a uh, verb, read. And then uh, the second question, Saya, you can answer it. The second question. And then the students have difficulty in listening. Yes, Miss. The first is speaking listening. Where are the non-fragile the, language the is the written language of extreme complexity with no alphabet or symbols. And is spoken on the island of the Nova generation in the American Southwest. Uh, During World War II, the Nova Jokot was created, uh, created uh, for the U.S. Navy. The okay, was spiritually and this terrible to anyone except Nafajo speaking person. I think the answer is what does the word spiritually probably be? I think the answer is B, Miss. Okay, great. The answer is B. Uh, and then the third question. Okay, answer the third question. Can I miss? Yes, Rani. Uh, thank you, Miss. Uh, so the third question is: Lacks of occupancy less than two percent of the Earth's surface, yet they help sustain life. For instance, let's give us a fish to eat, irrigate crops, and generate electrical power. What does the word "sustain" probably mean? I think the answer is A. Means support. Okay, great. The answer is support, support because you can see the question, for instance, like this artist to eat, and we already know that we just support our life. And then the word uh, question, who can answer? Can I answer the next question, Miss? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, give the treatment. The okay. Four. The ancient Greeks pioneered many of the kinds of writing we consider standard today. The road speech is a place, poems, uh, books about science and learning, and long histories of things that happen to them. What does the word pioneer uh, probably mean? The answer is B. Miss. And mm, develop, yeah. The, and uh, the answer is B uh, because it is suitable to the uh, to the question. And then the last question. Yes, can I miss? Yes, uh, for the okay. last question. Uh, thank you, Miss. Okay, the last question is 55 mostly prominent. 
female delegates attended the Pila de Pia Convention in 1887. About 75% of the delegates had served in Congress and other were important people in their home state. This mean, uh, this men are often referred to as the farmer of the constitution. What does the word prominent probably mean? I think the answer is the most important. Yeah, the answer is in, uh, important because uh, the many delegates that attend the, the convention. Okay, great student. So this is the answer, the key answer that you can see. You already answer all of the question uh, correctly. Good. Actually, this is a good uh, start. And now we come to the practice tool. So the practice tool, I will divide you uh, into some groups, but uh, three, uh, or three or four people per group. And then uh, the question, uh, the task, uh, the, or the practice, I have uh, 10 minutes in the, our Google Classroom, you can check it. And I hope you uh, practice it together. And then we will um, discuss it uh, next uh, session. And I hope all of you will work together. And if you have any question related to the Class, you can ask me uh, via WhatsApp or chat me. And, and we come to the end of the class. I hope you do the class together. And thank you very much for your attending today. And I hope you understand about the context course. If there are any questions, you can ask me directly. I thank you very much for your attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Tasnya kurang.